If you're currently facing applications not opening in Windows or they're simply crashing or you open them and was using them, minimizing them and for some reason you try to maximize it and it's still not responding on your computer, then I'm going to show you some tips of how to fix this on your Windows PC. So the first thing that I want to recommend to you, if you're having applications on your computer not responding or crashing, try to do the most basic thing and restart your computer. Now, I'm telling you guys, restarting your computer can fix quite a lot of issues. So I want to recommend that the first thing that you do is to restart your PC because this can solve quite a lot of issue. Now, if after you restart your computer, the issue is still not fixed, then you want to try other solutions. So let's say it's the application, you open it and it's simply not responding from your taskbar. You can simply go ahead and right click on anywhere in your taskbar here, open up the task manager. And then from here, you want to look for file explorer. So scroll on through the list here until you find the file explorer. You might need to do a bit of scrolling to find it, right? But once you find the file explorer in the list, guys, you want to simply go ahead and right click on it and you want to do a restart. It will dim your wallpaper and you'll realize that your taskbar is disappearing for a moment, but it will recover and then you can try to open up the application from it again. If this still does not work, try to open up your install app. So click on the Windows key and simply type in install apps. And once you find install apps, go ahead and open that. Then from here, you want to search for that particular application that you're having issues with. So let's say it's WhatsApp. Click the three dots there and you can do it for any application. You click advanced option and then you want to scroll all the way down to where you'll find repair and reset. So you can try to repair it and then try to reset the application and see if that will in fact fix the issue for you. If that does not work, you can click the Windows key and you want to type in run here. So type in run on your PC here and then you want to simply type in WS reset. Right. Once you type that it, then hit enter, it will open up the Microsoft store for you. And from here, what's going to happen is that it's going to clear the cache for you here in store. So you can go ahead and close that once it is done. Now, go ahead and restart your computer and see if that fixed the issue. If this still does not fix the issue for you guys, then the next thing is to click the Windows key on your keyboard and simply type in CMD and you want to right click and run this as administrator guys now once you run this as administrator you want to go ahead and you want to type in two different commands i'm not going to run them now because i want to make this very fast but you want to simply type in sfc space forward slash scan now and go ahead and run this it will take a couple of minutes and i'll put this within the description of this video as well so you want to go ahead and sample type the sfc space scan now and you want to run this command if this still does not work guys you want to go ahead and restart your computer of course to check to see if the issue is fixed if not Go ahead and simply type in this next command here that you can find within the description of this video. Both of these will take approximately two to five minutes to run, depending on the speed of your computer. So you want to run these as well. So allow them to run, and I'm sure one of these will in fact fix the issue. Now, last but not least, if none of these work, then you want to go ahead and uninstall the application from your computer. You can also open up your program files as well. Let me move this over here, and you can check under local disk, then go to program files or the program files x64 whichever one and to see if you find any folder of that application and you can simply go ahead and delete it delete any files or trace from that application once you uninstall it remove them and then restart your computer try to get the latest version of that application from a website from the official website preferably and then you want to install it once you do so then this should in fact fix the issue for you here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time